Here is your African true story. Africa and African diaspora. Racial disparities affecting black women when it comes to uterine fibroid treatment. By age 50, nearly two thirds of women experience uterine fibroids, non-cancerous tumors that grow in the uterus and range from pea to football sized and even larger. While some women with fibroids don't have symptoms, others have significant pain, anemia, bleeding, increased urinary frequency, fertility problems, and pregnancy complications. Unfortunately, the problem disproportionately impacts women of color. Black women are diagnosed with fibroids roughly three times as frequent as white women, with black women developing them earlier in life and tend to experience larger and more numerous fibroids that cause more severe symptoms. Nearly a quarter of black women between 18 and 30 have fibroids compared to about 6% of white women. By age 35, that number increases to 60%. Black women are also two to three times more likely to have recurring fibroids or suffer from complications. The reasons for the disparities are unclear, although research offers some clues. Fibroids have been associated with potential risk factors, including starting periods at a younger age, obesity, stress, and lower vitamin D levels. Black women are also at least twice as likely as white women to remove their uterus through a hysterectomy. A third of hysterectomies are done during peak childbearing years between ages 18 and 44. According to Women Health Research, despite minimally invasive options, black women continue to dominate the percentage of women having hysterectomies for benign diseases. In less severe cases, women are often advised to manage symptoms through medical treatment and watchfully wait instead of undergoing permanent surgery. Other minimally invasive options include embolization or ablation, which destroy fibroid tissues to ease symptoms, or surgically removing fibroids through a mimectomy. Research still cannot pinpoint why black women are more susceptible to fibroids, but patients these days are questioning why they are being steered so quickly to one kind of treatment when less invasive options are available. For unknown reasons, black women are two to three times more likely than white women to have uterine fibroids and are more likely to have larger and more numerous tumors and develop them earlier in life. Black women are also significantly more likely to have debilitating symptoms that interfere with work, relationships, and social and physical activities, which can leave them feeling fearful, depressed, helpless, and alone. Experts say that these differences, paired with the racial and gender discrimination black women already face in medical settings, school, workplaces, and beyond, can compound the physical and mental toll that uterine fibroids takes on them. The problems get worse when it comes to black maternal health. Like the increased fibroid rates, black mothers die from complications related to pregnancy at roughly two to three times the rate of other women, and that's regardless of their income or education levels. It's not acceptable for black women to suffer and not know their options. Uterine fibroids awareness and treatment for black women and women of color need to be addressed and improved worldwide. Some signs to watch out for when it comes to uterine fibroids include prolonged menstrual periods, pelvic pressure or pain, frequent need to urinate, difficulty emptying bladder, constipation, backaches, and leg pains. If you are experiencing most or all of these symptoms, it will be best to visit your nearest health center for evaluation. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, follow, share, and like our video. It's the best way of supporting us. And remember, Africa is watching.